All right, so I'm going to show you how to find the x-intercepts when you're in vertex form. Now you could always expand it out, condense it down, get it to the in uh, standard form, and then factor it again, but that's a lot of extra work. You can actually use what's called the square root method to solve this, and it's a lot simpler. The same idea is going to keep coming into effect to find the x-intercepts or the zeros or the roots is the key thing is set it equal to zero. So I'm going to have zero equals a negative times x plus 3 squared plus 16. Now all I'm going to do is just solve this. I'm going to subtract 16 from both sides. So I have negative 16 equals a negative x plus 3 quantity squared. I'm going to get rid of this negative sign by dividing by negative 1. So now I have 16 equals x plus 3 squared. Now I'm going to take the square root. Now this is where people will make the mistake in this type of problem. Whenever you take a square root, you need to put a plus or minus in front of it um, because it's ambiguous. You don't know if it's going to be the positive case or the negative case. So we're going to take the square root. So we're going to do plus or minus the square root of 16 equals, now that I've done the square root of this, it just becomes x plus 3. Well, the square root of 16 is just 4, so now we keep our plus or minus 4 equals x plus 3. Subtract 3 from both sides, and I got x equals a negative 3 plus or minus 4. Well, well I want to split this up and find my two x values. But I really have x equals negative 3 plus 4, and I have x equals negative 3 minus 4. When I simplify these, this is a 1, and this is negative 7. So therefore, my points, my x-intercepts, which are points that I'm going to want, is going to be 1, comma, 0, and negative 7, comma, 0. This one, I think, is a lot easier, but the big mistake is going to be right here, that plus or minus. You have to remember to do the plus or minus whenever you take the square root. Hi, I'm Mr. Buzzer, and these videos are supplemental instruction for my students. If you found the video enjoyable, make sure you click the like button and click subscribe as well as the bell for notifications to receive future videos on high school mathematics. <laughs>